Took a long weekend just east of Gaylord in the northern part of the lower peninsula of Michigan last weekend to help some friends with our one day rally. It's a 10 hour drive that we split up on the way up, usually stopping around St. Joe for a night's rest and a good meal. Had a wonderful event with great competition and great friends. 99% outside, so COVID safe, although I do believe most everybody was vaccinated, but nobody asked. Partied late into Saturday night, so got a late start heading home Sunday. And we normally bonsai that trip home in one day. Well, since we drove up on Thursday and Friday, traffic then was light, but not so Sunday on the way home. I think it's safe to say that America is out and about. RVs, boats, trailers with UTVs all abound. And they were all coming south Sunday from their fun in the northern parts of Michigan. Apparently, we were not the only ones enjoying Michigan's beautiful summer this past weekend. Tie that together with an unprecedented number of lane closures for all that infrastructure going on, and it takes a 10-hour drive and makes it a 13 and a half hour drive. Google Maps quotes, there is a 34 minute delay ahead, you're still on the fastest route. There is a 22 minute delay ahead, you are still on the fastest route, over and over and over again. In hindsight, I, I probably could have chosen to go the southern route down through Indianapolis as opposed to cutting through the south side of Chicago, but no guarantees that that would have been any better anyway. So the day was a lesson in patience. Now that's not something I'm normally overly endowed with, but we had Pandora playing tunes and a St. Louis Cardinals baseball game for three hours in the middle. So we were adequately entertained. We quickly just reset our arrival estimates to accommodate whatever happened and settled back for a longer, slower passage. At one point we told ourselves it might be even after midnight when we finally got home, but we'd still be okay just really tired. What stuck out to me was an air of general kindness everybody was showing each other on the roads. There was no road rage. People were making spaces for other people to merge. There were smiles and waves among people. It seemed as though everybody understood the boat we were all in and were adequately managing their expectations. Over 650 miles and not a single accident, not even a fender bender. And we're all nose to tails with big RVs and trucks. It's amazing how humans can work with each other for a common outcome, isn't it? So how does it happen that we can find ourselves on opposite sides of issues? Red, blue, vax, anti-vax, life, choice, any number of issues and privately and publicly wish each other harm, or in some cases, even death. Anti-vaxxers should all just die of COVID, then the problem would be solved, is the current chant I'm hearing from people in my own circles. Taking a chunk of humans, a slice of our country's population, how can they be so altruistic in one instance and vindictive in another? It was very nice to see our roads and recreation areas and restaurants bustling this weekend even if it costs us some time getting home. And in some of those tens of thousands of vehicles, being kind to each other, letting each other in, cut in line, etc., I'm pretty certain there were those who would wish folks on the other side of the pick your topic debate harm. I don't understand. It's Kim and this, well, this is Kim looking for some clarity.